Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines, folks. Today we're going to be working on a little Husqvarna 350 chainsaw. I don't know what's wrong with it. Didn't write it on the ticket for some reason, so we're just going to fix it. Let's see if we can get it running. First thing I'm going to show you is how to do a compression test without a compression tester. Can you believe that? Stand by, I'll show you how to do it. All right, the fastest way to do a compression test without a compression tester, well, here comes Shop Kitty to help. This is Jose, y'all. Anyhow, grab your starter up with it. Be sure your compression release is out, not pushed in. And what you'll do, grab a starter rope. Guess what? This one's got compression. This one is shot. The reason I show you guys that is because everybody doesn't have a compression tester. That's just something that you can, you know, get you by. So I, I can feel them and tell pretty much if it's good enough or not. Yes, you do need to check them with an actual gauge. Well, let's get started on this saw, see if we can make a run. All right, first thing we're going to do right off the bat, smell inside the fuel tank. And we're going to take a look at this fuel line. Stinky. Let's take a look at the fuel line. A little hook tool. Pop that thing out. Looks fairly clean, but we'll have to check that. We may put some fresh gas in it to see what happens. I just flipped it on the side and already, look, I got fuel leaking. See all the fuel dripping? Let's see what's going on there. So, I did all this just for y'all, so I can show you exactly where this leak is. If you look down here, there's your breather. This is your return. And the hose wasn't 
hooked up in there, believe it or not. That's all it is. And I'm going to show you. We're going to pull this up. I put a little gas back in here. I'm trying to do this on camera so y'all can see. Now watch. See it come out of a little weep hole there? That's where your leak was. The hose was just disconnected. And I only did this just so you guys can see. When you go to do this, you can uh, use some hemostats or long skinny needle nose, something like that. Yes, I have quite an assortment. But you can use that and get that fuel line back in without doing all what I just did. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and replace that fuel line. It's really easy to do. So we're going we're gonna, to... It, it just goes from here. Whoops. Can't see what I'm doing looking at the camera screen. It just goes from here over to the primer. Simple. Pop that line on and it's done. So just get your new fuel line. Let's feed it down through here. And I'm doing a little twist. And you should see it sticking out under here. Okay? That's all you got to do. And then we're going to hook it up to the back of the primer ball. Making sure to get it behind these clips just like it came out. Really simple, guys. And all you have to do to get to this is just remove the top cover, which is just three screws. So with this saw completely together, you would have this off, pop your air cleaner off, that's all you have to take off to replace this hose. Then you would take your hemostats or needle nose and reach right down in there and that's where it plugs in. Really easy to get to. You can spread this out just a little bit. You could wedge like a screwdriver handle or something small in there. Don't overstress it though. But it will pull apart a little bit because of the anti-vibration bushings okay we got him back together and fixing to fire him up just so you know when you get ready to start these saws all you have to do and i want you to watch that's your off switch it's in a down position which is off when i pull this it's going to automatically cut that on for you see it pop up switch on choke on let's put her on the floor see what happens Let's see if it runs. Pop first pull. Always let those saws sit and warm up. Do not fire them up and hammer them and start cutting. All right, let's rev her up. All right, all right, folks. We appreciate you watching. Hope this helps somebody out. Y'all be sure to click that subscribe button. You can click the piston, I think, is right there. Our little logo. Click on it little subscribe thing will pop up. Over here should be another video. Y'all go check that video out. Thank you for tuning in. Leave us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. You guys come back to see us. Thanks for watching.